Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my sinking funds as well as stuffing my envelopes. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into this video, starting with my categories. I'm gonna go ahead and write those down. Um, the first one is self-care. And I just use this for toiletries, beauty products, hair care, things like that. All right, and then after that is pets. For my two cats, I use this to buy them cat food and cat litter. Then I have car maintenance. And that's just to maintain my car. Okay, then after that is gifts. I use this for birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions, weddings, baby showers, things of that nature. And after gifts, I have vets and grooming, which is for my cats again, just to take care of any of their um, needs. Next is home projects. And I like to use this category just to buy things around the house, whether it's like something new for the kitchen, pots and pans, or if we wanted to paint the walls or something a different color, add little furniture pieces, just, you know, little stuff that's not extremely expensive that I would need to do a long term savings for. And then after that, I have vacations. I'm so happy I brought this category back because as everyone knows, 2020 sucked and I would love to go somewhere this summer just to, you know, get out of this house because it's been really getting to me with the cabin fever, but you can't really go anywhere because it's either not safe to do so or, you know, there's not really anything open to go to. And, you know, your friends or family might not want to be in your company <laughs> because they're also worried about the pandemic and, you know, before everyone gets their vaccine shots, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just hoping to be able to go somewhere this summer, anywhere, just to get out the house, you know. Here goes Suze. Um, so after vacation, I do save for car insurance. And it's really awesome to do this as a sinking fund because when the bill rolls around, you could just deposit the money in the bank. You don't even have to think twice about it. Just pay it and then you don't have to worry about it again till six months later down the line. All right, next is um, savings. And this is not like a savings savings. This is just money for my text preparer. But this is the envelope I have it in is the savings envelope. So that's why I'm writing savings. After that, I have car insurance. I'm sorry, car registration. Which will be due next month in March. So I'm happy I'm saving for that as well. Then I have a few more categories, which one is new stuff. And this one, I was kind of focused on electronics, but it'll be just whatever new stuff that I want to buy. Next is my water bill. This is paid um, quarterly anyway, so I figure it'll be a good idea to make it into a sinking fund since it's not something I have to, um, it's not a normal monthly expense. So it'll just be easier to keep track of it um, in my sinking fund. So when I, you know, flip through the envelopes, I'll see it and then it will be a memory of, oh, is your water bill due? And then last but not least is miscellaneous. Okay, so now for the amounts, I'm going to go ahead and show you where I keep my um, sinking funds, which is in this mini happy planner binder. binder. And I have envelopes from Mo uh, Mojo Cuts, which is the black and colorful ones. And the colorful ones are here in the back. And then the white envelopes, like these right here, are from Oh My Pies. Okay, so both shops are linked down below if anyone's interested. So I'm going to skip over my cash envelopes because we did stuff those together in my last video. So moving on to self-care. Actually, one second, because I'm going to lay the money out real quick. Okay, so starting with self-care, I currently have 50, 70, 80. And today I'm adding in $50, so 20, 40, 
and 50. Feel like, am I doing something else with this 10? Okay, maybe not. So 20, 40, 50. All right, so that will give me a grand total of 50, 70, 90, um, 110, 120, 130. <laughs> Drew a blank there. Okay, so that is now 130. And I'm thinking, should I just write down all the amounts first? That might be easier. So I started off with 80 added 50 and now i have 130. all right so i decided to just take all the envelopes out of the binder real quick to help make this a little bit easier so we just um stuff self-care with it started with 80 added 50 so now it has 130. put that off to the side next is pets is starting with zero okay and i'm going to be adding in 40. So I'm just going to take two 20s, so 20, 40, and these are some dingy bills, right? <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so this is now stuffed with $40. Next is car maintenance, and car maintenance currently has 50, and it's going to get $50. So now it will be at 100 Okay, starting with 50, adding in 50. All right, so gifts currently has 50, 100, 150, 155, 156. And I'm going to add in another 50, so that will make it 206. Okay. So 156 starting and adding 50. For vet and grooming, I know I'm adding 25 and this is starting with 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so it's starting with 120, oops, before I put that back, 129, and I'm adding in 25. So now I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. 51, 52, 53, 154. All right. Right, so that is vet and grooming. Home projects is starting off with 50. And it will get another 50 to total 100. Okay, so $100. All right. Next is vacation. That's starting with $150. And I'll be adding in $150 again. Excuse the music you may hear. It is coming from a neighbor. I live next to um, an apartment building with a uh, yeah an apartment building with a parking lot. <laughs> so 50, 150, no 50, 100, 150. So I'm gonna add in 100 and 50. So now I should have 300 dollars. Two, two, fifty, three. Right, three hundred dollars for a vacation.
car insurance. This currently has $50. And it will be getting an additional $50. So now it will have $100. Okay, so savings is starting off with $300, which is for my tax preparer, and I don't intend on adding any more. However, I did make a payment to my tax preparer on the 10th. Of February so two oh supposed to write the fund first so savings was on two ten for three hundred dollars spent for tax preparer Okay, so that envelope is currently empty. Next for car registration, this currently has $50. And it will receive $25 today. So 20 and a five, so it will have a total of $75. All right. New stuff is starting with zero. And I will be adding $25 in this one as well. Okay, so 25 total. Okay. Next is my water bill, which is starting off with $60. 20, 40, 60, and today I'm adding in $120 because um, I was expecting the bill to be due this month in February, but I gave them a call, the water company, when I didn't see the bill posted, and they said I most likely won't get it to March because they're a little bit behind due to being understaffed for the pandemic. So in total right now I have 120, 40, 60, 180. All right, so I'll just keep stuff in this till the bill is due and just take out what I need to pay the bill once it comes. So 180. And last but not least is miscellaneous, which has $5 in it. And I'll be adding in this last $5 to total 10. All right. Okay, so let me just run through my totals here. So I started with 80 plus 50 plus 156 plus 129 plus 50 plus 150 plus 50 plus 300 plus 50 plus 60 plus 5 equals $1,080. So that is what I started the month off with, $1,080. And then as we know, I stuffed $640, but let's just be sure. So 50 plus 40 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 50 plus 150 plus 50 plus 25 plus 25 plus 120 and plus five equals $640. And as we can see so far, I spent $300, which you will see in an upcoming weekly check-in video. And I will be covering the first two weeks of February because I skipped the first week clearly because um, things been a little backed up for work in my life, just all around. So stay tuned for my upcoming weekly check-in, which will cover weeks one and two. All right, and if you haven't seen my last video where I stuffed my cash envelopes and went over my um, results for paycheck number one, feel free to check it out. It will be linked down below. And this is basically everything for today's video. 
So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye!